EAA Chapter 166, Hartford, Connecticut, home of the Vans RV12 build. It's another build night here at the RV12 construction hangar. And you know, other than flight controls, I can't think of a more critical system for a gas-powered airplane than the fuel delivery system. And that's just what the build team has been working on here for the past month or so for the little RV12. Pretty simple system it is, but pretty critical to get right the first time. To tell us more about it, who better than Rick Montero? Since the uh, last time we got together, um, we've made quite a bit of progress. We've completed the uh, installation of the rudder pedals along with the brake lines. And as you mentioned, we've been working on the, uh, the fuel lines and the fuel system. So it's, um, it actually turned out to be kind of a chore, tedious, because uh, there's quite a bit of work to do in terms of uh, getting you end up with getting the solid tubing like this uh, as rolls. You have to straighten it out and then bend it into complex shapes like this to get it, um, you know, to feed it from the fuel tank over to the firewall okay, that was you know, between the seats. And so you have to make a lot of measurements and uh, bend in, put in some pretty complex bends and and uh, you know 90 degree turns and then each end has to get flared and before you do the flaring you have to apply the uh, you know ferrules and nuts and uh, you know by the way you've got to feed it through all kinds of bulkheads that have small holes so you have to do a lot of pre-planning because once you put the ferrules and nuts on and make the flares right you can't put it through those uh, access ports anymore so you have to plan it out, feed the pipe, figure out exactly when the right time okay, is to do the bends, uh, the final bends and apply the, uh, the uh, flares on the ends. And the, the fuel tank sits in the right side of the fuselage in the baggage compartment. And uh, from the port that you see there and two lines sticking up, that's where the fuel feed is um, from the fuel tank into the uh, fuel pump. And you have to feed these lines through the various uh, bulkheads and uh, lightning holes, as you can see there. Goes through the fuel pump, then it goes through some small um, holes in the uh, bulkheads, and then works its way forward to a shutoff valve. And then after the shutoff valve, there's a flow scan flow sensor, and then from there it goes into a gascolator. Now there's a return line that you have to also install um, and it goes from you know the firewall the upper part of the firewall back down follows the same path as the uh, uh, the fuel flow from the uh, fuel pump back and back into the uh, gas tank. So there's a uh, several bends as you can see you have to go through several bulkheads and, um, and Everything has to be bent to the uh, right dimensions so that you can, uh, everything mates up just right. So it's uh, fairly complex. It, it took us probably a, a month uh, worth of activity, you know, working a few nights a week to, to get the, uh, all the, all the uh, hose lines bent correctly, all the, the right dimensions, all the flaring and all the nuts installed and then uh, but uh, in the end, it, uh, it came out pretty nice. Uh, but it does take quite a bit of planning. Uh, what you're looking at there is the uh, fuel shutoff valve. So it comes from the uh, fuel pump through all these bulkheads uh, in terms of the fuel line. Goes through that, uh, essentially the shutoff valve, which has the uh, red handle on it. And uh, it's a simple actuation, push it, you know, push it down to uh, turn on the fuel, pull it up to shut off the fuel. And then from there it goes into the flow scan sensor and then from there into the uh, gascolator. The return line mounts underneath the shelf and comes up uh, through the top of the, uh, the shelf on the firewall. So uh, working in this tight space with the uh, rudder pedals in place is a bit of a challenge. Okay. So what the uh, team's working on tonight, um, they're working on the uh, upper forward fuselage panel, which is essentially this panel right here. Um, they're attaching it to the, the lower uh, firewall panel. Um, 
This, this particular panel has a, uh, a flange on the bottom and it slips underneath this shelf and then it uh, has to get pro-sealed in place and then uh, riveted in place. Um, it also has a small shelf for the, uh, you know, the GPS unit, uh, so that's where the GPS unit might get mounted. Um, so they've already finished uh, installation and uh, what they're doing now is pro-sealing all of the, uh, the rivet holes um, per the instructions. On the forward side of this panel, we're talking about the engine and possibility of carbon monoxide, fuel, and uh, of course water. So you want to make sure it's all sealed so that you don't get um, any carbon monoxide, fuel, or um, water from rain, anything like that, going into the cabin. So some of the things that we'll be doing next once we finish up the uh, installing that uh, upper forward fuselage is actually installing the uh, instrument panel behind it. And uh, this is part of the, uh, goes with the instrument uh, panel. This is the right side panel? That's correct. Co-pilot side? Part of the co-pilot side, yep. And uh, after that, um, then we're looking at the next section, uh, which is section 30 for the, uh, from the instructions, and that's actually installing the wings onto the fuselage and then doing some of the wiring uh, to, uh, for lighting and then uh, connecting some of the uh, control uh, rods for the control surfaces. Bullet. There's another service bulletin out for the uh, landing gear to reinforce the landing gear and the connections in the uh, fuselage. Um, apparently some operators, uh, owners have found that, uh, especially for those that are used for training in uh, you know, hard landings and uh, landings on rough uh, you know, grass surfaces, dirt surfaces, uh, they've found that uh, they've been getting some rivets and things that have been breaking rivet heads popping. So um, we bought the reinforcement kit and uh, we're going to be installing that actually before we attach the wings. Good. And uh, if you like the material on this channel, thumbs up down below. Thanks a lot for watching. Okay. See you next time.